Welcome to Jom Study Learn YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is reviewing past year chemistry multiple exam questions for summer 2021, part 1 of 2. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one, an experiment is set up as shown, where you have in the test tube, cotton wool soap in ammonia, and on the other right hand side, you also have cotton wool soap in hydrochloric acid. After several minutes, a white ring of ammonium chloride appears as shown. So which statement explains the observation after several minutes? So the answer for these questions is A. Ammonia gas diffuses faster than hydrogen chloride gas because its molecule have a lower molecular mass. Number two, a student put exactly 25 cm3 of dilute hydrochloric acid into a conical flask. The student added 2.5 gram of solid sodium carbonate and measured the change in temperature of the mixture. Which apparatus does the student need to use? But it is a type of lab equipment used to measure and transfer very small volume of liquid. Accuracy and precision in part fit measurement are necessary as any discrepancy in volumes. This span can affect the result of an experiment. And part tip calibrations with balance are necessary to prevent inaccuracy in order to obtain better result performance and longevity of the part tip itself. And another instrument used is thermometer. It's used to monitor the change in temperature. So the answer for this Number two would be C, pellet, pipe tip, and thermometer. A student separates sugar from a piece of broken glass by dissolving the sugar in the water and filtering off the broken glass. So the question is, what is the filtrate? The sugar will dissolve in the water and passing the solution through a filter paper to remove the remaining glass. So the filtrate here, the answer will be sugar solution. Number three, how many protons, neutron, and electron are there in one atom of isotope 27 of nuclear number and 13 represent proton number of aluminium? So in order to, to get the value of neutron number is Nuclear number minus proton number. So in this case, we already know about the nuclear number of aluminium, 27, and proton number is 13. So neutron number will be 14. So this answer, to answer to this question, you have to refer to chapter atomic structure, where you get the answer of proton is equal to 13, and neutron is actually 14, the answer for nuclear number minus and proton number, and the electron will be 13. Which description of brass is correct? Brass is an alloy, so the answer will be A. Of copper and in proportions which can be varied to achieve different colors and mechanical, electrical, and mechanical properties. So the answer to this will be alloy. Six. Some properties of diamond are shown. Is it diamond is very hard? Yes. Every atom form for bond? Mm, not really. And it does not conduct electricity. Yes, diamond does not conduct electricity. So which property are also shown by silicon for oxide? So the answer would be C. So refer to chapter bonding and structure, diamond properties, diamond is hard. The network of strong covalent bond make it difficult to scratch the surface of the crystal. 
So diamond does not conduct electricity. So the answer would be one and three. Which statement describes the attractive forces between molecules? Refer to chapter bonding and structure, intermolecular forces. The weak forces form between molecules. So the answer would be they are weak forces form between covalent bonded molecule. Which substance is described as a macromolecule? Refer to chapter bonding and structure. Or giant molecule is a similar to macromolecule. So in this under topic giant molecule or macromolecule, diamond and graphite are both giant covalent structure made of carbon atom. So in this example, we only have graphite. So the answer would be B. So the equation for the reaction of sodium with water is shown as 2Na plus 2H2 O to form 2Na OH plus H2, which is the volume of hydrogen gas measured at RPP produced when 18.4 gram of sodium react with excess water. So the answer for this is B. Iron can be electroplated with zinc to make it resistant to corrosion. Which rule about electroplating iron with zinc is correct? Electroplating is actually the process or is used for either decorative or functional purposes and to prevent a metal from corrosion. And electroplating works together with electrolytic cell with a cathode and a knot. So the cathode is the metal that needed to be plated. So in this case, what is the cathode? The cathode is supposed to be iron. So zinc iron is an alloy of two metal. And zinc and iron, it is the result of zinc plating with the addition of iron alloy. So the answer for this is C. A D, sorry, zinc, iron and zinc nitride. Okay, chlorine reacts with ethane to produce chlorine ethane and hydrogen chloride. The reaction is exothermic and the bond energy are shown as the table below. So what is the energy change for this reaction? So in this case, to get the energy change is energy in minus energy out. So from this formula, the value is actually for one O plus Cl, Cl bonding chlorine, you get 2 per ohm. And from these two, two components for elements to produce the reaction to produce this. So we get the value of 340 and plus HCl, which is the value of 430. So to get energy change is energy in 650 minus energy out 770 and the result will be minus 120. Minus means that it shows that this is the process of exothermic and the value is 120 kilojoule per mole. So the answer would be B. Chlorine gas is bubbled into aqua potassium iodide. What is the ionic equations for the reaction that it place? So there will be two I minus negative plus Cl2 and to form 2Cl negative plus A2. So the answer to this will be C. And concentrated aqua sodium chloride is electrolyzed, which equation represents the reaction the cathode. So you have 2H positive plus 2 electron negative to form H2. So the answer for number 13 will be C. Which statement about hydrogen are correct? When hydrogen is burned, heat energy is released, correct? When hydrogen is used in a full cell, electrical energy is generated, correct? When hydrogen is used as a fuel, water is the only product, so correct. So when combined with oxygen in a fuel cell, hydrogen produces heat which is the answer for number one, and electricity with only water vapor as a byproduct. So that will be the answer for number two and number three. So uh, the answer for this is A.
solid X is heated strongly, the color of a solid X changes from blue to white. And what is solid X? So, when hydrated copper 2 sulfate, which is the answer is C, is heated strongly, the color change from blue to white because of loss of water. Iron 2 chloride solution we add with chlorine gas. The equation is 2FeCl2 plus Cl to form 2FeCl3. So, which statement about these reactions are correct? Fe, two positive ion, each lose an electron because it's already show this. The answer will be D. Which statement about acid and bases are correct? An acid react with a metal to give off hydrogen, correct. A base react with an ammonium salt to give off ammonia, also correct. And an acid react with carbonate to give off carbon dioxide. So the answer will be 1, 2, and 3. Oxide 1 is a solid that react with dilute hydrochloric acid. This is a magnesium oxide. Oxide 2 is a gas that react with sodium hydrochloride solution. This is NO2. What are the formula of the oxide? So the answer this will be B, magnesium oxide and NO2, which is nitrogen dioxide. Which reaction is a photochemical reaction? Refer to chapter rate of reaction. Photochemical is a reaction which is catalyzed by light or dependent on light for the reactions to occur. And the substitution of hydrogen atom in this case is a uh, methane by chlorine atom in the presence of ultraviolet light. So the answer is the substitution of methane with chlorine. Number 19, the answer would be D. And the equation show represent a reaction at equilibrium. M and N represent the balancing number for the reactant and product respectively. A high temperature increases the concentration of Q. A high pressure increases the concentration of Q, which statement about the reaction is correct. So, in this um, answer or question, it gives the forward reaction is endothermic. MP to NQ is endothermic and where M is greater than Q. So, in this case, the, the answer would not be a negative value. It's a positive value because M is greater than N. With that being said, wish you all the best in your study. Thank you very much for listening. And please subscribe to Jerome Study Lab YouTube channel. And um, you can get customized note, which is currently available and can be downloaded the notes via http www.becons.ai slash jomstadila and also you can access the customized note via Instagram. So with that being said, thank you very much and hope to see you later.